hey, so I've recently been considering making a progress video on my main account uh, before I hit 3 bill XP. I should be hitting that later today. The reason why I haven't made that many videos in the last couple of years is because it's sort of hard to find uh, content which hasn't been uploaded to YouTube before. Uh, the Karamlish the of video, for example, was sort of unique because I don't think that method was uh, uploaded to YouTube before. And uh, yeah, I wanted to upload that uh, in case Jagex uh, removed the shop. Because then it wouldn't have made sense to upload that video. But yeah, they actually changed the requirements, so now you have to do the Karamja Hard Iris to use the shop. So it's, it might be more viable to, uh, to ha if you have an altar or something. I haven't been there for five months, so I'm not sure. But I, I'm not sure how active it is now. But yeah, uh, I'm doing construction right now. It's it's around 910k an hour when I'm not uh, recording or anything like that. I'm doing live commentary now, by the way. 940k is possible, but it isn't really realistic to keep up with that rate uh, for longer periods of time. But yeah, I'm using I'm using mouse keys to uh, to do construction as well. So I have to remove the I have to click I have to manually click the remove table option every time instead of using my keyboard because when my mouse keys are activated, I can't use my keyboard. I can only use my spacebar, which is uh, I use the spacebar with my left hand when when I have to talk to the butler usually. And then I have to manually build the next table, like you see there, instead of using mouse keys. So, yeah. Also, one thing, uh, if you're doing this method, it's sort of, sort of nice to keep track of your planks uh, every payment. For example, if you have like a hundred planks or one k planks left, uh, when you have to pay the butler, then you just subtract that amount with 192 and remember that number for the next payment. So you save some time. Uh, it's sort of a nice, it's a nice thing to keep, to keep in mind when doing this. It makes it more interesting as well, in my opinion. Uh, after construction, I might do uh, two hundred mil range at uh, diagonals. It's around. I tested this after I finished two hundred mil slayer. It's around one hundred fifteen k range XP per hour and uh, 105k melee XP per hour. I'm not sure the XP per hour at, with the shins, uh, with a new necklace or something like that, but I think Dagonauts, I like uh, doing them at least, so I probably will do them if I finish range. I might do fire making as well, but I read the dev blog about the new logs to see how something I think they will be faster than magics, so I might wait for that. Uh, they might be more viable, or I'm not sure how expensive they will, they will be, but they probably will be a better method to use than magics, especially if you use an alt. Yeah, um, but yeah, if you have any suggestions uh, or video suggestions, I might consider making more in the future, if people like to see videos, I guess, because it's sort of, as I said earlier, it's fi hard to find unique content to make videos on. And also, I tested some Nightmare Zone after I finished uh, Slayer, and uh, with the Proselyte, Vandals and DH, and uh, with, with, the, with DH at Nightmare Zone, it's, it's around 140k XP per hour. Uh, that's what I picked at with uh, overloads and like keeping my HP at one all the time. It's sort of fun to do with the spec weapon, but I don't think it's actually worth bringing that because yeah, it's a very small increase in experience. I think when I tested it. But yeah, I should be hitting three bill XP as I said uh, later today. Probably I'm just gonna check my XP right now. Yeah, so probably in like an hour or something. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Just an update video. So thanks for watching.
and uh, I might see, make more videos in the future if uh, people have suggestions.